near Jerusalem was a king from a faraway country. And the king asked father about Bethlehem. Oh, that was two days ago. No king is going to come to Bethlehem. He's probably living it up in Jerusalem. Wait a minute, there's someone coming now. <laughs> Take me to your king. No doubt you recognize I'm no ordinary man. I am the great potentate. I journey across the desert sand through raging storms and robber bands. I sought this place long after the star had. Make haste to Bethlehem, and now I'm here and ready to see your King. I am the great, 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 I love being one, and I love seeing one. This is the first time I've ever seen a king. What are you king of? I am potentate of all the beautiful land of Tishmer. Tishmer? Where is that? Oh, I'm afraid you can't get there from here. At least not easily. Well, if you're king of Tishmer, why aren't you there on your throne? Oh, I just love thrones. But I also love adventure, if you know what I mean. The open road, the call of the wild. Ooh. I know, we'll call him king of the road. Yeah. Shining the night the baby was born? 
Oh, I do love stars. Big ones and little ones. I've never seen a star I didn't like. You would really have loved our star. It was the brightest star I've ever seen. I was only seven then, but it seems like yesterday. about it until the wee hours of every morning. Next thing you know, they were heading off after it. How long after they left was it before you decided to follow the star? Oh, we all left together. It was kind of like a parade. <laughs> well, I just love parades. Speaking of parades, that's where I saw them last. We were passing through the most exciting marketplace, and that's when I spied the Gypsy Parade. Oh, and I just love Gypsy Parades. They were singing and dancing, and the next thing you know, I was singing and dancing. By the time the parade reached the Gypsy Camp, oh, I was exhausted. Well, when I woke up, my three friends had left me behind. They left you? Well, it wasn't all bad, you know. After I was on my own, I decided to take the scenic route. A few days here, a few days there, and I do love local culture. Did you follow the star? Of course, until it disappeared. Then I had to find my way to Jerusalem by hearsay from other people. Once I made it to Jerusalem, the scribes 
help me find my way here. And now, I am ready to see the king. Uh, your lateness? <laughs> no, that's greatness. About the star, it isn't here anymore. Never mind the star, I want to see the king. The baby isn't here anymore either. What? Whatever do you mean? The star was here because the baby was here. The star is gone because the baby is gone. That's the king you're speaking about. Oh, no! You mean I have come all this way for a, a hoax? There probably never was a baby in the first place. Just some strange set of coincidences, and I fell for it. There was a baby. Oh, there are always babies, and everyone always thinks that theirs is always the most special. But this baby really was special. I knew from the beginning that he was special. Remember that night? Anna and I were sleeping in the loft, and we heard music. I can almost hear it now.
fully, I could see one. Mary saw one before the baby was born. She told us what it was if they worshipped him? Do you really think I can find him? Surely, I would know if he was a king or not. It takes one to know one, you know. Where did you say the baby lives? In Nazareth. N-A-C-A-R-E-T-H. It's not really that far. But I've already come so far. Once I asked Mary where they were from. 
She said that she and Joseph came from Nazareth, but baby Jesus came all the way from the throne of God.
He'll give me joy for 
The kids will be back in a moment and uh, to close us out. But before they come back out, let me just ask you, or let me just say maybe, we don't know where you came from in your journey. We don't know where you've been or where you're going. But it's never too late to follow Him. Appreciate what the kids share with us and the work you guys put into this because it really is the most important message that we can hear this Christmas season. And it's really pretty simple. And here at Calvary, we, we try to sum it up pretty simply as we share the good news of, of the gospel of Jesus Christ. He's called us to follow Him. He's the greatest gift we've ever received. And he's presented Himself before us. And we say if you admit that you're a sinner and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord and that if you're willing to confess Him, as your Lord and Savior, that you have become His child. And that's what this was all about. That's why His trip to Bethlehem, to earth, that's why His life and His death and His resurrection was all about. If you've not made that decision, don't leave this place without learning from our children about following Him. I'll be available after the service, as will many others. And if, you haven't ever, if you've never made that decision before to follow Jesus, won't you do it tonight before you leave this place? I'm going to lead you in prayer. And then they'll conclude with the kids in just a moment. Father God, we thank you for the privilege of being a part of what they have presented to us tonight. We thank you for your son, Jesus. We thank you for what he has done to give us the opportunity for eternal life in heaven. We thank you for the great gift that he is and for the opportunity we have participated in that. And now tonight, Lord, as we close up this time together, let us not leave changed. But let us, to, let, let us help us follow him. Lord, thank you for the presentation we've received. Well, our prayer tonight is that you are glorified in, all, in our decision now as we respond. Help us to make the right choice in Jesus' name.
Thanks for coming. You're welcome to Bethlehem anytime. <laughs> um, if you'd like to take a picture with your child up here with the set or the poker table, we'll stick around here for a few minutes uh, before you get a picture. I also have a gift for each of the uh, kids in the choir. Uh, they'll, they'll get downstairs, so don't get away until you get your gift, okay? All right. So uh, we'll uh, be dismissed, I guess. We'll get the house lights up.